Hi, my name is Jonathan Jasinski. I'm from the University of Florida and I'm part of the Environmental Horticulture Department. My poster title is the In Vitro Assessment of Allelopathy in the Invasive Aquatic Fern Species Salvinia Molesta. And my co-authors are Dr. Michael Kane, Ryan Dixon, and Nancy Philman. I'm pleased to share with you the results of my experiments. And uh, my, my experiments deal with, as I said, the uh, floating fern Salvinia Molesta. And uh, it was observed uh, in, in nature that the put out a, uh, or it started to experience some die off uh, in nature. And when we cultured this plant in vitro, using its sterile in vitro techniques, we <clears throat> saw that the plant actually uh, died off in its own container vessel. We cultured the uh, Salvinia X plant in a sterile two liter uh, uh, vessel with uh, 1.7 liters of medium. And from, uh, as you can see, three weeks here, the uh, plant is looking perfectly fine, but by eight weeks, we, almost experienced, we experienced almost a complete die-off of the plant. So we thought that was interesting, and uh, that lent itself to uh, the fact that the plant could, in fact, be uh, allelopathic. Well, we were interested in uh, seeing what effect this would have, what uh, uh, effect concentration would have uh, when we inoculated new Salvinia X plants on aged medium. We got that aged medium by uh, inoculating these vessels with uh, salvinia, letting them grow for eight weeks and allow that uh, chemical to build up inside the medium. We then uh, had several dilutions ranging from the control to full strength uh, uh, aged medium dilutions and uh, the, the aged medium actually did have an effect on those new X plants. As you can see here, uh, rapid growth in the control with new fresh medium all the way down to uh, full strength medium in which the plant hardly grew at all. So, uh, again, we saw some uh, very strong evidence of allelopathy in uh, the floating fern. So our next question was, does this have an effect on other uh, submerged aquatic species? So we used a co-culture system in which we used that same two liter vessel. We used a mesh divider and uh, cultured uh, Hydrilla verticillata and Myriophyllum heteroflum uh, alongside the um, Salvinia molesta. Uh, and um, allowed the salvinia to be cultured right next to either the myriophyllum or heteroflum. And uh, we actually found no allelopathic uh, effects, or they were at least inconclusive. We left the uh, plants in there for three weeks, and we're thinking that we might need a little bit more time uh, to see that allelopathic effect, uh, uh, take, to, to actually observe an allelopathic effect um, with, with those two species. And the reasoning behind uh, such a short um, uh, culture uh, period is uh, that we didn't want to see any nutrient depletion effects. So we didn't want that to have an effect on what we were seeing inside the culture vessel. So um, the next logical step is to use mass spectrometry to actually see what is inside this uh, medium, the aged medium, whether it's uh, allelopathic chemicals that we're seeing from the salvinia or uh, a nutrient depletion uh, effect. So uh, that uh, pretty much sums up my poster. I appreciate you taking the time to, uh, to listen to.